Where are we with filtering the kryptonite out of the air? Nowhere. We're wasting our time because about nothing. We're sprung. Best case scenario is that Supergirl spends the rest of her life confined in a life support suit. Unless, of course, you've been hiding in some sort of giant vacuum that could suck every particle of kryptonite out of the atmosphere. Okay, well... Wait, are you crying? No. That's unanticipated. What? I'm not a robot. I'm techno-organic. I have feelings. You should be crying, too. These are tears of logic. I have been where you are now, and believe you me, I have feelings. Right now, I'm feeling intense rage. I created this device for good, to save Earth. And once again, my technologies have been stolen and abused. I could murder someone right now. Do humans feel like this all the time? It's intense and, and disruptive. You get anything done. My solution? Boxes. Boxes. Yes. Yeah. What variety? Cardboard, wooden, loose light? Imaginary. I want you to imagine that you're full of tiny, itty bitty boxes. And then I want you to take your feelings and I want you to shove them into those itty bitty boxes. And then I want you to take those and shove them way deep down so you forget you even had feelings in the first place. Then you and I are going to do science and get this air clean. Understand? Okay. I've done it. I feel much better. Excellent. Oh. Actually, I've figured it out. It's nanites. Elcor owns a nanotech subdivision, yes? Formerly Spherical Industries? We just have to reprogram the nanite so that he can detect and filter the kryptonite out of the atmosphere. We don't need a giant vacuum cleaner. Just trillions of small ones.